What up? It is like October 9th, I want to say. I want to talk about the power of connection. I was writing an article about the different kinds of support someone going through breast cancer specifically, that was the assigned topic, but really anybody in need of friendship, anybody going through something, maybe you are going through some type of um, intense situation, whether it be like a medical illness like cancer or maybe you were the or still are the victim of some kind of like domestic incident um, or maybe you had a tragic loss and it's like specific and maybe you lost a child or a parent or a grandparent um, there's different connections that we need um, and we should first look to our circle to see like who we have that can help us with these things so right away it sounds too like you're looking to um, go get help but also there's ways that we can connect with others even if we're going through something and offer our support and help to people in our circle um, and there may be times in our life where we can't be there to help others maybe we are going through something serious and there's just really you know nothing we can offer people that's fine too um, but what made me think about talking about this I probably should have started with was um, I'm just feeling like a little run down lately. I was up working last night, pulls an all nighter the night before I was up writing. Um, I have another job too that I've been working on um, that I won't really talk much about right now. And uh, I've been drinking like, you know, a little more coffee than usual, which I'm sure a lot of us could say uh, pretty often. And so last night I just sweated so heavily in my sleep. It was really weird, like sports bra, sweatpants, like comforter, everything. So. I thought like who are the like the top people in my life that I could hit up about this obviously before I like research myself crazy also so like I hit up three of my friends you know and just explain to them my situation and how I'm feeling like a little rundown you know um, and I'll point out I could still taste my coffee so but anyway so these are the types of connections we need and we need to know like who we can call when we need things um, I called a friend a few weeks ago to get you know eggs from her and her chickens really weren't laying and then a friend hit me up randomly and said hey do you need any eggs it was so weird but um we could help each other out you know there's so many ways we could help each other out and for those specific things that people are going through maybe you do need like a support group maybe you are going through an illness like cancer or something serious where you do need to be aligned with doctors and and um you know so we also have to be cautious too about who we go to and what people really know if people are offering advice and on the topic of that if you're someone that's like listening to somebody asking for help or you know venting to you um, be supportive and you know ask open-ended questions but try not to be so pushy um, and give people you know directions as to what to do try to make them realize things that they could do um, and do know if they do maybe need a little bit more help maybe that Maybe they're taking on a lot. Uh, maybe you could help them with some things. Maybe you could give them some, you know, realistic support, practical support that people need, like getting them the essentials, groceries, medication, um, just getting somebody out of the house if they're going through something or, you know, even just, even if somebody isn't going through something on paper, you know, maybe they're just having issues and they're staying to themselves. So the power of connection is real, especially at a time like this, I've talked about it a lot. Um, and it just, I've been thinking about it a lot lately as I look at my circle of friends and I'm seeing what's really going on in this world. So just wanted to talk about that and I hope everyone has an awesome weekend. Peace.